How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in this video I'm going to teach you how to play Fever as recorded by Peggy Lee on guitar. Now of course this song is a standard and over the years I've actually seen so many different sheet music pages and just charts for this song that were so far off chord wise. So for this video I wanted to go back to that classic recording and transcribe the bass line for you and show you that there's really only just two chords to this song and then we modulate it up. So I'm going to start off by breaking down the bass line. I'm also going to show you the chord shapes that you need to know as well. But before we dive into it, I want to hook you up with a gift right away at the first link down below. I've got a free tab sample pack that goes along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. So if you get value out of just watching my videos, you're going to get so much more out of being able to follow along with a good tab. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Fever as recorded by Peggy Lee. Now I'm going to start off by showing you the bass line and then we'll talk about the chord changes that are happening underneath it. But the main progression is really just eight bars of music. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, a one, two, three, four. So what I'm doing is starting out on the open fifth string and I'm going open three, then open three, then two on the fourth string. And with the rhythm, I'm going one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and we've got a swing feel to this. And sometimes you'll see, like I was doing a second ago, is I'll drop my hand on the back beat, like one, two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Unless, of course, there I'm playing that note, so I'll just play that beat on beat four. But where I can, I'll drop my finger to just kind of get a little groove. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then I'll restart and play that again. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then on the third time, I'll change that last note from this second fret on the fourth string to just open A. So that's gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then we'll go one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and. So that's second fret on the fourth string. Now here's where the chord changes, by the way. One and two and three and four and. So that's second fret on the fourth string, then drop down to the fourth fret of the low E on beat three. So one and two and three and four and. Then we'll syncopate that back to that A root note. So one and two and three and four and. That's really this sound. It's your E7 going back to your A minor. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and then four. Okay, so that's our eight bar bass line. I'll play it all as one piece so you can hear what it sounds like. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Variation. then it resets. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so YouTube will let you know when I post another video just like this. Now the chord progression that's happening with that is really just A minor to E7, or E or E7, and then back to A minor. So we start with six bars of A minor. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. Then in the seventh bar, we're gonna go to E, or E7, that's just without the ring finger there. One and two and three and four and, and then, so that's the, that's that part of the bass line there. There you're going E7, three and four and, one and two and three and four and, two, three, four, and then you restart. 
So altogether, if I play the chords and the bass line, I've got the chords going in a looper, and then the bass part, you can hear them together like this. So those are the chord changes that I would play, and again, I think if you were playing this just by yourself or with a singer, it would sound really cool to just play the bass line and then sing on top of that, and maybe occasionally if you wanted to, two, three, you could mix in like some chords. Okay, now the intro and the interludes, what they really do is just play the last four bars. So when we go one, two, three, four, one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and that's our intro and interlude. So you just play the second half of it basically for the interlude. Now as we progress through the song, the changes go up. So we go to the key of B flat, and then we also even take it all the way up to B minor. So what you have to do is take everything that we learned and plus one on every fret. So if it's open to three, you plus one, so it's gonna be one, four, one, four, three, see that? So that would, that would be B flat minor, and then you just move it up from there. Great work on making it through this song lesson. Make sure to go back and rewind and rewatch any parts that are unclear. And as you get comfortable with that bass line, then you can start moving it up. Again, we're gonna start in A, we're gonna go up to B flat, and then B. So practice in each key, and then try and put it all together with the recording. Before you go, don't forget to download my free tab sample pack at the first link down below. And this is gonna give you some exclusive digital downloads and some handouts that go along with lessons here on my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in diving deeper with guitar, check out my website, johnmclennan.com. I've got a ton of great resources on there as well. Thanks for your support here on the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.